Okay, in this case, the terminology may seem a little bit tricky, and that's because it is. This is a skin disease. It's called lichen, L-I-C-H-E-N, sclerosis et atrophicus. It is primarily a skin disease of uh, the vulva in uh, postmenopausal uh, women. It's very common. The reason why it's called lichen sclerosis et atrophicus is because if you look into the dermis, it's practically all replaced by dense collagenous scar tissue. That's the sclerotic part. And it's also the easy part. Please notice there's some stippling of chronic inflammatory cells here too. And there are still some remnants of uh, hair follicles as you could see. The tricky part is the atrophicus part. Very often in this disease, besides having sclerotic dermis, you have an atrophy of the epidermis, and that would explain the atrophic uh, part. However, uh, forms of lichen sclerosis and atrophicus wind up having hyperplastic or hyperkeratotic uh, epidermis, like you see here. So, ideally, in the classic lichen sclerosis and atrophicus, there is sclerosis in the dermis and a very thin atrophic epidermis, like you might imagine here. But in all honesty, you can see parts of this epidermis are hyperkeratotic or rather than atrophic, uh, perhaps hyperplastic. This is a uh, very, very common uh, skin disease in uh, vulva of elderly women and uh, by itself is not malignant or pre-malignant. However, the long-standing hyperplastic variants are associated with an increase in uh, skin cancer, and thank you very much.